Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, uh, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and the prospects of it actually having a built-in in-display fingerprint sensor on the front, which is something a lot of people have been anticipating on the Note phones or and even on the S9s uh, before they were released. So there were some reports previously a couple months ago, maybe a month ago, uh, and they were leaked by somebody known as Ming-Chi Kuo who is a well-known Chinese analyst and a leakster that is known for bringing us uh, reliable pre-release information on some of the most popular smartphones in the market, such as the Samsung phones or iPhones. He does have a track record of being correct many times, but sometimes he's wrong. So he had said that Samsung had discarded the idea of including a, a fingerprint sensor in the Note 9 because of technological difficulties they were having. Uh, whatever they have cooked up so far is not to Samsung's satisfaction is what he told us. But uh, recently there has been some updates and those updates uh, point to the opposite direction, meaning that we think that now the Note 9 is going to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. So let me talk about that right now. So this new development comes from uh, Korea Herald, that's a Korean newspaper, and I'm going to link the article that makes this leak uh, from a certain source available uh, down in the description box down below, so you can go check it out for yourself. But basically the title just says it directly, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 to adopt in-display fingerprint scanning uh, as the sources are saying. So apparently, uh, per this source that they have, an, insi an insider from Samsung, uh, Samsung is right now uh, reviewing three to four solutions uh, for this uh, in-display fingerprint sensor. That means they have three to four working prototypes uh, that they might actually mass release to us. Now, if this actually happens, that's fantastic news because the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus uh, are in my opinion, in my assessment, uh, probably the best smartphones in the market. I've been saying that over and over. And uh, there really is not much to argue against that. You know, it's got the best display in the market. It's got the best design in the market. It's got stereo speakers. It got, it's got micro SD expansion, wireless charging, water resistance. It's got everything that a flagship should have and more, okay? So it exceeds every other phone in the market as far as how feature rich it is and it works flawlessly it's a very smoothly running smartphone so basically uh, when the note 9 comes out it's going to inherit all the capabilities of the s9 plus it's going to have the s pen and a larger display a slightly larger display so if they are able to include the in display fingerprint sensor inside the note 9 uh, the note 9 is basically going to be the one of the perfect smartphones in the market. Not perfect, perfect, but almost perfect. And of course, uh, reading this article that was published in Korea Herald is making me really, really uh, excited about what is to come on the Note 9. So they're saying over here uh, that the Samsung display has prepared three to four solutions for Samsung Electronics to embed the fingerprint sensor inside of the main display. And they're now considering, seriously considering, one of these solutions. So they have, like I said, they have three to four working prototypes and they're seriously considering uh, one of these solutions uh, as, as long as by the deadline it meets their satisfaction for a final product. But that's the update and uh, look, Ming-Chi Kuo had said this was not gonna happen. Now the Korean Herald has these insider Samsung sources that are saying it is going to happen, it might happen. So we'll see what happens. I cannot give you anything for sure. Uh, but it's good news that I'm getting this kind of information uh, from insiders on this website. There's also one more good note over here. It's saying uh, there is enough time for the display company, the company that makes Samsung's display, which is Samsung itself, to improve the technology to meet the handsets makers' expectations before the launch of the Note 9 in late August. So there's also one more hint right here. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is going to be released sometime in late August for people who are wondering. Uh, this is probably one of the most reliable sources to give me a release date today uh, that, that I, can, I can quote. It might spill into early September, but it could be late August, which is not that far. 
uh, we are in May, so that's just you know three to four months, and we might see the Note 9, uh, hopefully with the in-display fingerprint sensor. If that happens, there really is no other phone that could compete with that smartphone unless other companies start to also do the same thing. Okay, but that was a quick update. So I'm gonna drop the link down below to this article so you can go check it out, read, read it for yourself and get educated. Uh, but uh, for now, thank you for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, honestly, I think whether or not we have the in-display fingerprint sensor, the Note 9 is still gonna be an absolutely amazing phone. But if we can implement the in-display fingerprint sensor, it's just going to be a, a maximum perfection, okay? So just let me know what you think about that. Are you anticipating to buy the Note 9? Or do you already have the S9 and S9 Plus? Maybe you're happy with it, uh, which is perfectly fine. If you don't have interest in the S Pen, uh, just drop your comments down below. And of course, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. And make sure to have a fantastic day for now.